In today's video, Michael Knowles asks a trans activist woman a question. How do you identify someone as female when they appear to be fully male with a masculine body, appearance and behavior? How do you declare such a person as female? Let's watch the video to hear the trans activist woman's response. For those who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Does one know that someone with the total physical appearance of a man, how can one know that that person really is a woman? Do you have an answer to that question? So my, my response to you is then a question of what is the purpose of knowing another person's sexual, I well, sexual see, there, there identity or person? Well, for starters, because we have civil rights specifically for women in the United States. We have special bathrooms for women. We have special sports leagues for women. We have all sorts of special places and rights and privileges that are for women that are not for men. So if now some men, people who at the very least appear to be men, are claiming a right to go into those women's bathrooms, then we either have to abolish all of the special rights and privileges that have existed for women for all of human history and are enshrined in our law, or they need to explain to me how those men are actually women. If female organs don't make someone a woman, then why would wearing makeup and a dress make someone a woman? She asks why you would want to know their sexual orientation, yet they have no problem going into schools to talk about it. In the end, I'll just say that God created male and female for a reason. God does not make mistakes, but sinners do. What do you all think about this video? Let me know in the comments. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for listening and supporting me. Take care.